gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. Good evening world, and welcome to Piety. This is Fort Zombie, it is probably one of the worst games I've played in my life, and I'm going to share the experience with you tonight. Um, why am I doing that? Because I think this game offers something unique. I mean, other than the fact that it's just really, really dreadful. So. Take a quick look at the options, there's nothing too, uh, too exciting here. Savour the music from the opening, because it's some of the only music in the entire game. Thanks for the sound check there. Now let's hop right into the game. So here you are. You are Ben Riley. You cannot rename your hopeless uh, protagonist. Uh, not sure whether or not to call this game a roguelike. It's certainly difficult, and it's got permadeath uh, and random. Oh yeah, a lot of randomness to it. First off, we. Uh, Decide what our occupation is or was prior to the outbreak. It uh, it helps generate our attributes and skills. Also, apologies if I'm sounding a bit off today. I am sick as a dog. Uh, I'm not even sure what I want to pick out of these. Our dude looks like a, a bit of an ex-convict, so we'll, let's let's roll with that. Now. You get to choose your attributes, and the only thing that really matters, at least as far as I can tell, is your speed. You want that to be at least 40. And, oh Christ, I can't remember if it's a finesse or toughness that matters here. Oh boy, let's, let's just have them even then. I think it's toughness. Let's take a gamble and just chug everything into toughness. And you get to choose what skills you have. Well, I like being good with pistols. I don't care about much of the rest. It's good to be able to lockpick, and it's good to be able to spot as well. So, we'll roll with these. Ah. <sighs> yes, Lucas, I am a big fan of good zombie games. This is not a good zombie game, but it... Uh, well, you'll see. Let's, let's roll, shall we? Gives you a choice of where you want to uh, choose as your safe house. You still have to go and clear it at the start of the game. You get a choice of police station, prison, and school. I've completed this game only twice, and I've played a lot of it. Um, both times on the police station, which is easy mode. I've gotten the good ending and the bad ending. So, uh, we're going to go with prison, though. Uh, easy to get in, hard to get out. Think about that. There's a lot of uh, customization you can do with your safe house. Well, I say a lot. Again, you'll see when we get there. We're in for uh, a wild night. <coughs> uh, if I survive. <coughs> Dying here. What's there to even say about this game? The loading times are abysmal, but fortunately it doesn't have to load all that often. It always loads the map for you. Welcome to Piety, Population Undead. This, this game, it's wit. 
Would you like a quick tutorial? Everything is explained in the manual. Well, no, everything is not explained in the manual. I have read it, but I don't need no stinking tutorial. I will graduate from the school of hard knocks in this game. So, uh, start you off with a lot of basic items that are going to come in handy. I fear inventory, sort everything out, and let's take a quick look at what it gave us. Time is not an issue right now because it's the start of the game, although the game is very difficult and starts off as such. Uh, so gives you some medicine, you will quickly discover that medicine is virtually useless. You get a crowbar, you will very quickly discover that melee weapons are useless. Uh, it gives you food, which is vital. It gives you a Colt revolver, which is rubbish, and a 9mm, which is great. So, it took me a wee while to pick this back up, but I think it's a tab to change your guns. So first things first, I'm going to run with my revolver and empty it out. Reloading is slow, your character is clumsy, and it's very difficult to actually hit anything in this game. Ah, uh, jeez. I've got a uh, a bar at the bottom that will show me the general direction of where I'm wanting to go. So the the fort, the prison in this uh, this case, is going to be in this direction. I'm going to want to head there generally. Uh, taking a, let's go around the UI in uh, anti-clockwise order. This is my mug. Uh, I can heal myself if I'm injured, and I have first aid. I'm not entirely sure how it works though. Sometimes it just doesn't work. At your health there, 100%. You don't want it to get too low because you're, you know, a few hits and you'll die. This is a good zombie game in that regard. Uh, this body shows where you've taken damage. I haven't noticed any real uh, malices to getting injured in the head, the torso, or the arms. But if your legs go, you can't run, and if you can't run, you're dead. Next to me is a stamina bar. It will gradually refill if I jog or walk or stand. If I run, it will quite quickly go down. Yes, we are, don't I? Ben Riley is a bit of an ass. Don't really like him as a character. Uh, down here is our ammo, our gun, whether or not it's reloaded. There's a flashlight you can have on some of them. Not even sure how you turn that on. Uh, should probably look that up when it turns to night time. Gives you a quick firing range so it can give you an idea of how your gun works. Um, this game's kind of interesting with its shooting mechanics because uh, even if you aim at something and shoot it, you don't always necessarily hit it. It rolls a dice, checks with your skills, checks with the evasion of what you're hitting, and decides for you RPG style whether or not you hit. Uh, it's, it really makes no sense. You can shoot a zombie in the leg and, it'll, and its head will fly off. It's uh, more of an art than a fine science. Well, let's get going, shall we? We need to try and find anything we can, and to find things you hold F, and your character will investigate. If you see something suspicious, you should check it out like that, and if there is something there, it'll flash up, and then you can click on it to find stuff. So here's a bunch of zombies, and let's see what happens when I try and shoot them. Oh, these mechanics. Fantastic. not dead. Double tap. There we go. So I just wasted 12 bullets to take out, uh, what was that, three zombies? Waste of time. Waste of bullets. Mostly what you want to do when you see zombies is sprint like crazy. I assure you I am not dropping frames. This game is just incredibly choppy. The zombies will get bored of you quite quickly if you lose line of sight with them, but they will try and break down doors to get to you. All the while you want to be investigating places for uh, anything really, food, medicine, bullets, guns, you want it all. Uh, it's hard to really remember what places actually have things, and yep, the physics in this game are all kinds of broken. 
I just kicked that bin across the room because I am an ex-convict, obviously. Yeah, so I'm shooting this guy point blank and most of my bullets are just doing nothing. Fortunately, it works both ways. If they try to hit you and, uh, you know, if they, they get an obvious hit on you, they might not because it rolls a, a dice on their hits versus your evasion. Also, he just hit me, but he did no damage. What a mysterious game. I'm just I'm just wasting my bullets here. I need to get out. I do want to quickly look around for any food. I want to take advantage of this first. Uh... Oh, there we go. We got some lamb burgers and potato chips. We shall take them. Also, I heard someone firing a gun that wasn't me. That's not good. So I'm gonna quickly dive ball out of here. Maybe kick over a few pins while I'm at it. Strike jump past armless and go out from whence I came this game so good alright we got a mo uh, movie theatre here it's looking a bit undead though we shall not waste any time Let's get out of here close the doors behind us uh, mountains of corpses sometimes have items in them but sometimes do not Let's check upstairs, because I think this place sometimes has unique items. This place is a wreck, though. I fat so. Cannot hit to save his life. This guy is pathetic. I shall evade him by climbing atop this pile of uh, pile of dead bodies and just there we go. No more head for you. Hmm. Yep. By investigating the top of this pile of zombies, I've ascertained that there are some. Uh, 7.62 rounds and some painkillers. Perfect. Rounds for a gun I don't have and medicine that I can't use. Now, uh, I took a bit of damage there. I didn't notice, but I did. Uh, and in the field, you can use five of your... Uh, five units of medicine to heal yourself up. Uh, the medicine kit that I found is ten. Well, the one that I start with is ten. And the painkillers I found were six. Although I just healed myself for, what was that, two or three points of health. Not glorious. Not by a long shot. Right, I, I want to get out of here. I should make my way to the... Uh... I could go through the door, or I could smash through the window. Like a true ex-convict. game has limitations on how you can angle your camera. I would love to look at the top and see what kind of shop this is. Well, whatever, I don't want to be out in the open like this. Oh, but I certainly don't want to be in here. There is no way out. So even burnt out buildings like this sometimes have good items. Yeah. Down on the floor there is if I can reach it. Please, please don't hurt me. We've got some chocolate, but I moved too far away to to reach it. Let's work our way around this guy. Get him get him stuck behind the counter and take it all. Probably some other good stuff here, but I uh, I can't afford to take too much damage early on. does not appear to be anything useful here. 
Oh, oh ho. What was that? Where was that? There we go. We can reach through the wall and grab two cans of cola. I don't think there was anything left of that door. Right, let's get out of here. Fences are no match for Ben Riley. Now, normally jogging should not be reducing my stamina, but it is, so I obviously put the wrong points uh, when I was making my character. Alright, Fatso here was laying into it. There we go, now he's got no head. Alright. Fuel is really good. When you get to your hideout, you want to, uh, you want to be able to power it. It really helps with healing. Picking, it's not the case of, you know, there's a cast can there, I can pick it up. It's a case of I had to check this empty shelf. And it, uh, by chance, had one. There we go. Some uh, food. Some cereals. Some cheese holes. It's quite sad, because there was obviously a lot of love put into making this game. But it still came out really awful. Butcher knives and a power drill, they may come in handy, but they probably won't. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's great. In the ideal world, you want to pick up things, especially food, where it doesn't take up a lot of space in your Resident Evil 4 style inventory but has a lot of uh, units to it. So army rations, chocolate bars, things like that, they don't take up a lot of space, but they, they give you a lot of uh, food. It's not that food heals you, you just need food for the, the end of each day. We're relatively safe up here, but not entirely. There's a policeman zombie there with a gun. And uh, police and army zombies, they can shoot you and they can hurt you a lot. So you want to either kill them quickly or stay your distance. I was hoping there might be something useful here. There's often Lee Enfield rifles. My favourite weapon in this game. But it was not to be. Not this time. Ooh, cafe. Cafe means food, but they are swarming with zombies. Let's take a chance. Come on. Food, please. There's no food. I need food. Okay, we got our chocolate. We shall take it, and we shall take our leave. Big old food mart in here. I'm just greedy enough to check. Okay, the zombies can be pretty stupid. You can be standing right next to them and they just don't really care. unfortunately Ben is also quite stupid he can be right next to them and still miss of course part of it is down to this gun being terrible okay beef jerky is good I'll take it and I'll get out of here one of the best kinds of food can sometimes be found around here but I don't think it's my lucky day a big pile of ham is 50 units of food. No. Let's get out of here. I'm sick of this place. Checking inside for anything good. A butcher. Butchers have meat. Salty bacon. 
but it is a huge item. Not sure if I'm going to have space for it. Perhaps a bit of rearranging is in order. Now nah, we're talking. The lamb burgers. Yeah, okay. Was kind of hoping for something better, but uh, it was not to be. Keep getting distracted. Need to need to get my way to the uh, to the prison. Lots of zombies in open spaces. Don't really want to be hanging around. Some statues of God knows what. I'll have a quick check at these cars. But there is nothing. <laughs> Houses generally have very little of importance inside them, but there might be something I want to show off inside one of these. No, he is not what I'm looking for. Mm, nope. Let's get out of here. Having none of that. Having none of this. <laughs> Firemen zombies with axes coming at me. So many zombies, goddamn. Can't take the stress. Boarded up building, you might think, hey, it'll be something useful inside. Nope, just completely empty. Space for hire. It's a veterinarian hospital, which I don't think has anything useful at all. Alright, now this is a locked place, and you can either break down the door or attempt to uh, unlock it is what I was going to say, but it was unlocked already. And there was nothing of use inside. Sometimes, just sometimes, there's something really useful around this weird maze. <laughs> Can be a deadly place to be, though. My guy tripped, didn't hurt him, but he liked to sprawl out on the ground anyway. Right, this charred body here looks like it might have something. But it does not. An utter waste of time. Oh. This burnt out swing could be my ticket out of here. Geronimo! No, decided to eat my inputs. Okay, this uh, this place that looks like a castle is probably the prison. Okay, my dude is too tired. He needs to wait a bit. Unfortunately, zombies do not know about waiting, although they do know about climbing invisible walls. There we go. That guy should have got ahead in life. So, now we just have to clear this place out. Ben is obviously a very well-trained marksman, so he should have no problem doing this. Good shot, Ben. How about we try that again? You suck. You suck so much. Oh, 
Oh, whoa! -ho. So that's what I mean. It's all just down to chance. Doesn't really matter where you're aiming at the zombie, or if you're even really aiming up much at them. Um, it's all just rolling the dice. The thing is, you can build up skills with specific weapons, but the game doesn't last that long, so doesn't really matter at all. Ammo is scarce, so aside from clearing places out that you really need to loot, or saving your own arse, you really just want to save it all, because the idea is that you get a safe house, you go out on raids for weapons, ammo, food, medicine, and finding other survivors. And then you just prepare for an onslaught, because at the very end of the game there's a, an enormous horde of zombies, and it generates so much lag for the game, it's, it's unbearable. And then you try to survive, and if you survive you get an ending, if you survive with a lot of uh, other survivors you get a good ending, if it's pretty much just you, you get a bad ending. I don't think there's actually anything to scavenge in the place itself. As opposed to the uh, prison, which has a shotgun inside it. A shotgun that is uh, borderline useless. Does insane damage if you hit, but even at point blank it seems to have a very difficult time understanding what hitting is. Now for one of the more fun aspects of the game, I need to clear this place out, but there's no real indication of where the zombies are. And sometimes it just auto-clears out when you're running around without you even killing anything. All the while you've got to worry about your stamina. They be. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Wonder what well, I wonder what they were thinking when they were making this game. I'm thinking this is it. This is going to be the left for dead killer. Walls, my, my nemesis. Good shot, Ben. Now do that four more times. That's one. That's two. Keep it up, Ben. Oh, you're on fire today. base captured, despite there obviously still being zombies around, because they're breaking stuff. So this place is now ours. Let's see if I can even remember how things work now. Alright, you click done. It saves the game for you. Oh, I said earlier there's permadeath, actually. I'm starting to think that it's possible to, uh... Yeah, there we go. You can save games. Well, let's not. Let's play it like there is permadeath. Uh, so this is the, the screen you get now that you actually have a place. gives a summary of yourself and the rest of your party. I will never have a party because the AI is garbage. I mean, think of the worst AI you've seen in a game and this is probably going to be worse. Uh, oh, I should not have clicked that button because it reloads my entire fort. Spawns me here in the cells. You can set up barricades, which is a fairly nifty aspect if only barricades were useful in any real way. Um, you can set them up and uh, delegate people to actually work on them, because they, they won't automatically get made. They, you'll need people to, uh, to work on them, so for that reason you're going to want a bunch of survivors. And you're going to want survivors with good skills. If you find like ex-military men, you can give them uh, pretty good guns and watch them clean up house. Uh, on the other hand, if they're carpenters, they'll be really good at building barricades or making 
traps as long as you have trap making equipment um, but the most valuable person you can really find are medics people with people that are good at first aid or uh, medicine skills they will uh, excuse me <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, in your fort, you can delegate two people as the healers, and they will do a good job of healing up everyone in the uh, in the fort whenever you pass a day. Check the inventory. I usually get rid of all my everything, and the game very nicely sorts it all out for you. And usually, when I go on rounds, I just take my Beretta, uh, not the Beretta. I start taking that uh, once I exhaust the Colt. And that's really all I take with me when I go on uh, my looting sprees. Survivors, although we have none, it's just myself, and I am designated as part of the raiding party. And it'll give you missions, but because it's now the end of a day, we just call it there. Are you sure you wish to end the day? Yes, we are. Uh, so it tells you that your crazy act convict self-insert guy is... Uh, keeping a journal of things that he's doing if I fail maybe some other smart monkey will come along and find it okay well we'll probably fail because I messed up uh, creating my character anyway just in case the kids end up having to study it in school I'm gonna skip the foul language and go light on the gruesome detail okay this is just garbage utter garbage um, but each day it will give you a, a summary of what happened so I ate six items of food Got a decent night of sleep, so I healed up one health, used a medicine, healed up a few... Uh, health comes back very slowly, so you never really want to take more than 10 damage each day. Because uh, it's easy easy to die, very difficult to heal. I've been working on my cult detective skill, it's paying off, my skill increased to level 3. All, the, all this kind of garbage. So we're back on another day, and uh, we've got three three different missions we can take. Uh, it's 6 a.m. when you start a day. You never really want to carry a day on until after 8 or 9 p.m. because it gets dark, and that generates a huge amount of lag, and the zombies are faster and more aggressive and more powerful, and you can't see bugger all. Uh, might be some food, lots of supplies, and guns and ammo. Well, let's kick off with some guns and ammo. So you travel towards it, the time is running by, so it took about two and a half hours to get here. And then it very slowly loads the mission. And here we go. Doesn't this place look familiar? It's all randomly generated uh, maps that it spawns you to. You run around and then you return to this place when you're done. There's a bunch of menus now here at the bottom right. They are just um, things for your AI buddies to do. I always just tell them, leg it to the extraction and do not engage the enemy if at all possible. But I don't have any buddies so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, it also tells me at the bottom where the supplies are, so let's make a beeline towards them. Uh, they always have specific supplies or survivors that you're going for, but they'll be randomly spawned points where you can pick up more anyway. For example, this is not the supply place. These are some the backs of some uh, military trucks. And lo and behold, we got some bullet. Take it all, thank you. Not only that, but this looks like a makeshift hospital. So we're going to check for any medicine, because medicine's good. As long as I have a doctor, which I don't. And none of my missions uh, none of my missions revolve around finding survivors. So I uh, don't think I'm going to get any buddies this day.
surely, surely they could have thought up a better way to find items than this uh, spot skill. But they did not. Right, this is good. Cotton balls a bit useless, but gauze and painkillers? Fantastic, we'll take it all. Appear to have exhausted this place. Don't really want to check in there. I'd have to engage the zombie nurse. We're going to do so anyway. Get back to Silent Hill, yeah, slutty nurse. Waste of a bullet. There is nothing here. Nothing but shame. really wanting that guns and ammo, so where about could it be? We just keep following towards wherever this tack is in my uh, compass. Now this is a burnt out weapon store and usually doesn't have anything. Burnt out buildings are pretty pretty gash. There's never usually much inside them. Again, I'm not dropping any frames. My game is just lagging like hell. Also, there's a zombie with a gun. I'm scared, so I'm gonna take cover. Inside what is very conveniently looking like uh, the all-American gun part of a sporting shop. It's our lucky day. We've got more bullet. Although there is clearly some kind of weapon. I have no idea what that is. But it's obviously uh, nailed or glued to the uh, desk, Maniac Mansion style, because I cannot pick it up. Oh dear. Yeah, some zombies around here that I'm not really keen on fighting. If we just leg it to the medicine, quickly check it out. Discover nothing, because we're blind. And make a swift exit. Let's try and find those real weapons. Okay, where is that coming from? Ray's containment units? Yeah! Let's have a look, Ray. There's nothing here, Ray. And I've had some pretty bad runs of this game, and, well, this is pretty bad. This looks a bit more promising. No, nothing. Nothing but a burnt out cardboard box to kick around. severely doubt there's anything in these lockers. I don't think I've ever found anything in here before. And this is no exception. Still, I really need to find that, uh, that stuff. Looks like it's beyond this fence, though. I will have to work around it. Isn't this fun? I'm really hoping that uh, the so-called weapons were not just the uh, the bullets I found in that sporting shop. Right, there is a policeman zombie. He will shoot me to death, so let's just take a quick getaway around him. More zombies after me. We don't care. We just need these guns. Where could they be? I'm out of here. Okay, right, this is definitely it. There's a huge pile of something in the middle there. Okay, policeman zombie. Shooting at me. Let's uh, turn this corner and... Okay, a lot more zombies. This is not my day. 
we will have to clear a path somehow. Start by taking out old, old copper. There we go. Took out his gunning arm. Obviously, completely on purpose. Okay, right. There's just, there's just no way. Just no way. Whoa. Agile as a hummingbird. Yeah, there's uh, another policeman zombie there. Can't take the pressure. But I need those bullets. This doesn't just look terrible, Lucky. This is terrible. Ah. That guy just clawed at me and I just got shot up the arse. But that's okay, because I've got the gun. Although there was something else here. I'm positive of it. Yeah, there. Right there. Gimme, 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 gimme. Okay, we're out of here. I think I got everything. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Maybe I can give them the slip. Oh man, I'm getting ripped apart here. I shall take cover in the uh, baked goods shop. It's usually a good place because you can often find. Often find. There we go. Cherry preserves, they're pretty good. Now, I was injured. I have a chance to heal myself up. I will take it. Fortunately, I found those gauzes and cotton balls and uh, painkillers earlier. So it gave me more than five uh, units of first aid, which I can use now. Unfortunately, you are completely immobile when you heal yourself. There we go. I healed for 1%. Although I think my health went up by 3 I never claim this game makes any sense. So it doesn't appeal it doesn't appear to be anything else here of use. Okay, let's have a quick look at the new weapons I got. I got an M1 and I got a Lee Enfield. Well, as everyone knows, Lee Enfield is my favourite gun. It just so happens that I've got some bullet. I mean, that's not bad. It's uh, not bad animation. Okay. Also got a baseball bat and a machete. I don't really know if they're any good. But they eat up your stamina. I also got a, another gun, handgun. Another Beretta. Well, no thank you. stick with our good old revolver. Now we really need to get out of here because I took quite a lot of uh, hits including a bullet up the arse. Is it because it's British? It has nothing to do with it being British. Just uh, When I first played this game I found a ten year old girl. Her name was Howard. Um, and she had a Lee Enfield rifle that was bigger than she was and uh, I was in a lot of trouble and she shot this zombie that was about to kill me shot it dead so I fell in love with that gun uh, it gives me a summary of everything I found when I was out there and one of the worst mistakes you can make is to go straight to another mission we will not make that mistake at least not right now because you need to unload everything first or else you're going to uh, go to your new place and find that you're already full of items. But I'm trying to finish off my cult detective. What does it use? 38 spec feds. Can't even remember. 38 fed?
yeah, probably these. Again, I got no survivors. I got I got nothing. But there's uh, some food and supplies here, vague enough to possibly mean guns. So we're gonna check out this other place. What is the goal of this game? You need to build up your uh, your fort. You have about 13 days to do so. You need to gather survivors and items and survive an onslaught. There will be a massive influx of zombies after 13 days. It's extremely difficult. So I will give this game that. At least it doesn't hold your hand and give you the medal of participation. It does kind of grind you into dust. It's just a shame that it's just awful in every other regard. Awful as it is, it's one of the, it's one of the games I've had the most fun with ever. Okay, it spawns me right next to a policeman zombie. This will not stand. Protect and die. Okay, <laughs> you win. There's nothing uh, nothing usually good inside houses anyway. I mean. Get inside, please. Get in, please. I mean, who, who designed this house? What is this? What is this? I mean, were they evacuating? They took the sink with them? Certainly didn't take their Sonico washer WM25076 model. Just kind of makes me sad to see the the effort and the details that went into this game, only for it to be garbage. The controls look amazing. They they're not too bad. Simple uh, WASD movement, shift to run, control to walk left click to ready your gun and fire spacebar to jump run and jump to fly there's a pharmacy there but it's burnt out and empty so a bit useless got a, f a motel here have I been in a motel before? Okay, that's a football zombie. He can tackle you. And I'm not even sure if the tackles hurt. But they do knock you down and leave you open to other hits. So we're going to take shelter in Gasso. By flying into the window. Making sure it's empty. And eating some beef jerky. You don't actually eat when you're on a mission. Uh, food is only consumed when you're in your base. There's a whole lot of nothing in here. Some cookies and some cheese holes. Just what we need. And some bungee cords. I think they can be used to make some traps. Ideally what I want from this kind of place is some fuel though. Fuel is really good in helping you uh, restore health. And getting uh, work done on traps and things. This is interesting. Barricaded up place. Usually some good things in here. Good thing we can fly, right? Right, Ben? Ben cannot fly today. That just doesn't fly with him. Okay, this is an interesting building. It usually has guns in it. But it also usually has military zombies. Oh boy, Grandpa's after me. Get off me, Grandpa. Oh no. It's too agile for my bullets. Oh no, that's a military zombie. I'm gonna stay far away from him. Try and take him by surprise. Be easier if I can take care of Pops, though. <laughs> okay, seems to just be this woman in here. 
remove her head with surgical precision and we'll check out to see what's here usually there's some good stuff don't let me down please don't embarrass me I do plenty of that myself okay this this looks promising come on it's a freaking chainsaw right there oh well of, of everything there we choose to take the duct tape nice one bed you clearly weren't the mastermind in whatever you were jailed for Again, behold the physics of this game. Alright, so we wasted a bullet checking out this place. Yeah, nothing of use. Worthless. Let's check out that gun shop because, uh, well, some better guns wouldn't go amiss. I know I picked up the Lee Enfield and that other, I think it was the M1, but, uh, trying to avoid using much of my heavy weapons until I empty this uh, Colt revolver. Okay, right, that guy will kill me if he sees me. He can definitely see me. Please don't kill me. Oh, he wants me. Whoa! Shooting through walls! Die, please. Oh, okay. That was most fortunate. Unfortunately, I can't take his gun. He's obviously gripping it too hard, despite having no head. Just kick him around a bit, though. Right. Ugh, this place is already pretty heavily looted. There doesn't look like anything of use. If his shot had connected, he would have uh, wrecked me. Well and truly. Okay, someone might uh, recognize this little poster here. This game was actually published by Paradox. And uh, I, I don't know why they, uh, they allowed this, but they did. Part of the deal was that they have plastered their uh, advertising all over the game. So, uh, particularly you'll find quite a lot of Hearts of Iron posters kicking around. I played this before any other Paradox game. I uh, had no idea. I had no idea Hearts of Iron was even a game. Now I am so much wiser. Yeah. Subtle marketing. Right, this, is, this has been a big disappointment, this building. Nothing for me. Still, let's, let's try and find those actual supplies that I came here for. I need to head towards this uh, pink pin in my uh, compass. Maybe it's here. I hope it's not. Because this is disappointing. I did not come all this way for some painkillers. This game is pain. Don't think there's anything in the latrinas. Oh Christ, this place is crawling with zombies. There's also a, a military zombie there in the middle. So I'm having none of this. Okay, I'm walking around the building and the little pin is telling me that it's actually this building I need to be inside. That does not bode well. I don't want to go inside hammer time. Oh. Alright. Come on! Let's try that a second time, Ben. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, that was terrible. And I'm almost out of stamina. There we go.
There, there had better be something really good in there that makes it worth taking on all those zombies. Yeah, that's one dead. I did say I wanted to empty this gun. I can see that military zombie right there. Oh, nice shot. He just couldn't get ahead in life. I think I used that one earlier. Uh, stay away, please. At least the, the armed zombie is no longer a threat, so I can wander around at my heart's content and only worry about the ones that are mauling me. There we go. Fly away, Ben. I took a, I took quite a bit of damage there, though. Most unfortunate. Good thing there's some medicine. I'm, get, I'm getting wrecked here. And all for pretty much nothing. This, The items here are garbage. Let's get out of this disappointing place. I've taken too much damage for this to be worthwhile. I shall take a moment to heal myself. Hopefully that door will keep them at bay. juice to stop myself from zombifying. Can I just heal myself for 3%? God, this game's sh garbage. Hmm, there's a church here. They can be a hit or a miss. Oh, no, 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 None of that. There's a military zombie inside there. He would have given me a few sermons with his gun. Come on, walk a bit faster, man. Where is the exit? I think that's a pawn shop, though. Sometimes good things in here. <laughs> like old man zombie. No. Nothing. Waste of time. Get out of here. Jeez. He could not hit the broadside of anything. Oh, okay. This was well worth my time. Might as well try out the shotgun. Hey, old man Jenkins, I got something for you. Something really ineffective. Is that how you are meant to hold a shotgun? kind of satisfying after using the uh, revolver for so long. Right, so I've had enough of this place. Let's return to base. A 
all you have to do to exit, quite thankfully, is just uh, get to the place and fly. But there is a corner store there that I don't think I checked out. Might be something useful in it. Uh, do these things exist? The happy hitman and grey matter? He loves his job. Really loves his job. Yeah, okay. Oh, useless. I took a really heavy hit there. To the torso. I'll uh, give him one in kind. Actually, I got hit, so I kind of want to heal myself up. Oh, what a poor choice. <laughs> Getting shot at. Come on, come on. What's this backup dancer doing? Get out of my way. Right, out of here, back home. Again, tells us all the stuff we got. I'm gonna ditch it and end the day, because the only other mission is just some food, and it would uh, happen at night time, and we certainly don't want that. And uh, yep, decent night of sleep healed me for four. I'm hurt pretty bad and it's affecting morale. Well, I don't know anything about morale. It doesn't have anything tangible. Uh, what do we got? We got survivors this time and I'd quite like to get one. So... The shotgun seemed to fare me quite well. I will take it with me. As well as my trusty Colt. Hopefully I can chew through all these wet, all these bullets so I can start using the Beretta. Also, I forgot to do this, but I should turn on the power from the generator. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Where have we got... Yeah, it looks like i got 20 units of fuel. Just 20? Anyway, having the generator on, I believe, uh, yeah, there we go. Ah, that's it, fuel. Ten power required. You know what, I don't even know anymore. We're going to have it on anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go and find our survivor. I've got my guns with me. Let's go. A few people were spotted in the area, they might need some help. Again, we get to enjoy the abysmally long loading times. Are we there yet? I said, are we there yet? Okay. Again, spawns me surrounded by zombies, quickly honing on my location. So let's go and find our survivors and be done with it. Hopefully I can lose the zombies that are following me, using my wit and cunning. Ha ha. Yeah, sometimes 
Doors just don't react to being clicked on. Nothing in the burnt out greasy oven. What a weird house. Is this, is this what houses are like in America? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, none of you. Don't know who decided to pitch a tent in the street outside a perfectly serviceable house, but uh, maybe piety's uh, outbreak was a blessing. Worst game ever now. Come on, this... Uh, this game is terrible, but there is worse. Okay, lots of armed zombies. I don't want anything to do with them. Oh, bloody hell. Get out of my face. Please stop shooting at me. Right, sometimes there's good stuff in here. This is not one of those times. Nails and duct tape. You can't eat them, you can't shoot them. What's the point? Oh. Right, these are some of the fastest and most annoying zombies, these old men. I don't know when the whole running zombie thing became popular, but I, I do not like it, not one bit. There we go. She took a chunk out of me, but it wasn't a big chunk. Newspapers telling us about how the dead rise. Reminds me of the newspapers used to find in uh, GTA 3. I thought it was a real nice touch that they actually had writing on them. But that was a long time ago, and you would have hoped that they'd come up with something better by now. Okay. Maybe there's something good in here this time. Nope, just more duct tape. God, this game is just awful. Made by the same guys that did, uh, oh, what was it called? Sword in the Sky or something like that? Don't know, some space game that I never played. I think I own it as well, just, uh, in the uh, list of games that will never get played. Jesus, do not tell me I have to go in there. I, I can't handle that. Right, nothing in the fridge. Come on, where's the survivors? Oh, well, I like the way this guy thinks. Unfortunately, all the boxes are empty. Pissing hell, that's... This is where the terror is. What the hell is that? The name tag says WTF. What a mysterious game. The weird paintings on the wall again. Maybe I'm not giving this game the credit it deserves. Maybe it's more a Silent Hill style horror game. It certainly achieves that. Come on. 
getting getting chewed on pretty hard here. And that's a military zombie. Okay, the survivors must be in here. Now this is how picking locks works. You try to pick, you fail, and then you try again. And then you succeed. You open the door and you get shot for it. Although there is a survivor in here. This is what I came for, right? I'm getting wrecked. Down to 28 health. This guy'd better be good. He'd better be so good. Well, he's ugly. His name is Tiberius Ashton. He is a plumber. He's 39 years old. His stats are pretty alright. He has a wife, a father, and a daughter who are somewhere around here that I. Uh, they, they may or may not be in this particular map that I'm in. It's very hard to find everyone. Has he got any good skills? He does not really have many good skills. I don't understand this difference between level and actual. I think it adds one of your stats here to one of these. Finesse, I guess. But yeah, join me, mate. Tell me what have you got. Well, yeah, keep the salami. In fact, take all this garbage. You can kind of use them as pack mules. I'm going to tell him to, uh, as soon as we get outside, I'm going to tell him to run straight for the extraction point. The zombie's stuck in the floor there. Because why not? Another policeman. Because the game obviously hates me. Alright, come on, let's get outside. I've had enough of this garbage. He's yelling at me to wait up. And now I'm just going to tell him to run for extraction. Now we're going to watch the AI's pathfinding. Yep, run into that corner and get shot. I will also get wrecked. Yep, that's definitely where the extraction point is. My mate is just running into the corner there. I have. Uh, I've had it with them. I'm getting out of here. The uh, the AI has no real concept of uh, items being in their way. If he thinks the extraction point's on the other side of this fence, he'll just run into the fence like this. And that is why he is getting shot to death. So I lost a lot of health for this guy that I can't even save because of fences. This game. What were they thinking? Well, at least we're still alive. I don't really want to leave Tiberius behind, but I also don't want to die, so goodbye Tiberius. left him behind, yep. Oh, I forgot, I gave him all my stuff as well. Well, there's two bits of salami I'll never have. Ugh. Ugh. Right, some more weapons there. I would quite like some more weapons. This time I'm going to ditch the shotgun because it's pretty much empty. We're going to take Lee with us. Fires .303s of which I have 20 in total. And we're going to start using the Beretta because I don't think this game is going to last much longer at this rate. Let's go get ourselves some gun. Welcome back, Lucas. 
we found and deserted an old man called Tiberius. Another appalling loading time. Come on. Give me some gameplay, please. I'm dying here. I'm trying to remember how you turn on the flashlight. But I cannot remember. This gun hits like a truck, but... Uh, our guy cannot aim to save his life. Willie the Fox's Burger Orium. Yeah, sure. Let's have a... Let's have a burger, come on. Ah, this Beretta. It is so good. Quick to reload. Very uh, accurate. Does quite a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm just getting stuck. Stuck in the counter here. Come on, where's my cheeseburgers? This is America, is it not? Oh yeah. Pickles, bacon, and lamb burgers. Just what a healthy growing American needs. Nothing washes down some good burgers like some gun, so let's go find the guns we we even came here for. <coughs> Dying here. Nope, you can't stop me. I've got too much freedom. Okay, bunch of items, none of which are of any use. Take them anyway. Not taking the crowbar, it's just a melee weapon, and uh, I don't believe in melee weapons, not in this game. Come on, where's my guns? Well, this uh, Fubar surplus store seems like an ideal place. And uh, because the pin down here is moving, it means it must the the guns must be in there. Unfortunately, a lot of gun wielding zombies are as well. This could be where I meet my maker. But oh, I might not even get in there. Okay. Let's do some uh, crazy strats to get inside. What do we got? We got some military rations, which are some of the best food in the game. And an M4 with no bullets. Oh, yeah. We're on fire here. Just kick all these boxes out of the way. Yeah, just the one then. Okay, what do we got? More rations. I did not come here for this. Where's my bullets? I gotta end all this zombie socialism. Another empty M4. But I think we got some... Nope, that's not bullets for the M4. Got some uh, Lee Enfield rifle rounds though. But there's a lot of zombies here. They'll probably kill me as well, because they're armed. Whoa! 
This hand egg playing zombie is too powerful. Okay, I'm down to 5% health. And I'm about to die. Good thing I can dodge bullets. Come on. You want me? Come and get me. I'm right here. Vantage Ben. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, zombie man. You saved me. Yep. Yeah. I got ripped in half. Game ogre. Well, at least I made the high scoreboard. <sighs> that was Fort Zombie, everyone. You can buy it from... Uh, can, can you even buy this game? Uh, Gamers Gate, yeah, they're they're sad enough to sell this game. It'll cost more than you'll ever want to pay for it. All I can really recommend is the uh, the music to the game, of which there's one track. Enjoy it. Oh, Jesus! What a garbage game.